I'm cool. nervous. Are you nervous? All right, rolling. All right, well, for the next 24 hours, we're gonna be enemies. Ha ha. Today, I'm gonna challenge a robotic arm to a film competition. These robotic arms are extremely accurate, extremely fast, and are perfect for creating product film commercials. And they're all powered by this guy here. My name is Javier. I specialize in motion control systems. Basically, I use robotics to make complicated shots. I'm giving Javier 24 hours to come up with five shots. And if you can come up with five shots that I can't recreate, I'm gonna give him a cash prize. Woohoo! All right, Javier, in here, the cash prize is $5,000. You know the rules, you know the competition, and $5,000 are on the line. Are you ready? More than ready. Let's All right, do it. let's do it, man. Right now, we are at Javier's studio. Fun fact, this actually used to be where my studio was too. Not in the same room, but I can show you guys. You guys wanna see my old stomping grounds? Chris. This used to be my, my studio, 11 right here. And then he has 27. I don't know how these numbers work. Hey buddy, how's it going? Yeah. You ready? All that ready. Do you think I could take your robotic arm in a boxing match? <laughs> what about an arm wrestle? <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> you think I'd break my arm? Yeah. <laughs> Javier literally says this is actually really simple and easy and any of us can do this. And I'm looking at this right now and just a bunch of random buttons, numbers, instructions. I don't even know what you're doing. This is why I don't have a robot. I've been inspired because I've used his robotic arm. I've hired his services. It's amazing and really high quality and I've used it on a lot of different commercials that I've done. But I see a lot of people getting discouraged on YouTube or anywhere I post these videos and be like, oh, you have a robotic arm. So the whole idea that sparked from this was that I wanna show people that you can really create amazing shots that are very similar or exactly the same without a robotic arm. That's the whole goal, really, of this whole competition is all just in good fun, but, you know, also for me to kick Javier's butt, so. Fun fact number three of today is I actually probably eat burritos about five out of the seven days of the week, and that's pretty much what my diet consists of. Everybody's always asking me on, YouTube, ooh, jeez. Everybody's always asking me on YouTube, like, what's your workout regimen? Burritos. This video is sponsored by Artlist. Artlist is my number one go-to music licensing site. The library and content and quality on Artlist site is unmatched by any other licensing site. All the music and sound effects that I use for my content is from Artlist. And the greatest thing about Artlist is that they have a simple licensing setup. If you want to create a short film, a feature film, even something for the Super Bowl, it's all under that one license, so it's not complicated at all. You don't have to worry about getting any copyright claims. And they have so many different types of music to choose from. If you need something for your next horror film, then use this. If you're looking for something for your showreel, then use this. And you can get unlimited music starting at only $9.99 a month. And you guys know me, I rarely have sponsored ads, but I've been using Artlist way long ago before they even sponsored me just because it was a no-brainer on the price and quality of their content. If you go into the description below, you can click on the link for Artlist and sign up today. So go check it out. And now, on with the show. I'm sorry. Every day. <laughs> All right. Obviously, I was already here, but excuse me. Squeaky doors. WD. Um, All right. So obviously, I was already here, but today is my day. I'm feeling a little nervous because Javier still hasn't sent over the damn clips, so I don't even know what I'm filming yet. But once he does, 
we're gonna get going. Luckily, I have a little secret. I film a lot. I don't know, that wasn't a secret. We're cleaning this, because Austin, Austin, Austin got it dirty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is Karate Kid, and I'm teaching you <laughs> okay. how to fight. What are you teaching me right up, now? Up, down. Up, down. Damn. He's going to be a great filmmaker one day. You'll see. <laughs> All right, so Javier just sent me over the shots to look at. Shot one, top down multi-pass. Oh, this butthead. I told you it was going to be his damn shot that he always does with the thing is where he the changes one? it. And then each it goes time. back. I think this is doable. I have an idea of how I think I can do this. So mm -hmm. let's do it. The grid, you know, is for a few different things, but it's to stop the spread. <laughs> stop the spread. I mean, that's what it is. All right, what do you want from me? <laughs> trying to do is figure out if I can connect this and rig it in a way so that the camera's attached here so that the camera is spinning like this at first. And then as we drop, then it drops down. So it's gonna be a little bit of a tricky trickerson, but I think if we can get this, it'd be kind of cool. If not, we can always do it in post. But like I said, I like to challenge myself a little bit. So thank you, sir. Even though this is not one of the shots, this rig setup that I did for the first shot inspired me to do another shot. And filmmaking, you know, always trying new things. So even though that we're in the middle of a competition, I don't care, because this seems cool. You want it faster? Na, 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 na. You guys know what song that is? No. Jurassic Park. What up, what up, what up? Hey, buddy. You look, you have like a confident face. I see like a serious set design here. There is some points there that I'm yeah. losing. <laughs> well, we still have to do one last shot. So okay. we're gonna do the drop shot. So for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Rewind selector. Rewind selector. All right, Javier. Well, we've come to a conclusion. Obviously, looking through the footage, even though that I was able to recreate some of the shots, there wasn't any chance that I was able to recreate that last shot. Even though I could drop the camera, it looked awful and I could never use that in a shot. So, I wanna congratulate you right now because you have won $5,000. What? But there is an option. There's a mystery prize right behind you. So would you rather take the $5,000, or do you or want what's ever behind this curtain? It could be a Tesla. <laughs> could be Ooh. a Tesla. What can be better than a $5,000? <laughs> it's up to you. 100% genuinely, you can choose whatever you want. Uh, I, I give the $5,000. <laughs> Damn, you just lost a 
Tesla right now. I don't trust that guy with that weed. <laughs> Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Uh, but but he just lost out on an opportunity right yeah. now. Do you want to see what you missed out on? Oh man. The mystery prize that you could have had, Javier. The newest Tesla. Yeah. Ready? You missed out on your own full-grown tree <laughs> that you could have put into your studio. Don't you want your own nine-foot tree, Javier? They're almost about the same amount of I, money. I, I'm glad that I keep them money. Damn. I knew I didn't. I, I couldn't throw that guy. <laughs> Damn. Well, let, open, let's at least get some beautiful shots of you underneath the tree. Oh. So Everybody, this was so much fun to do. I'm so glad everybody got to be a part of this. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. I'm gonna be creating a lot more challenges like this, so please stay tuned. I wanna inspire all of you guys to film like us and join for more adventures. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. <laughs> well, somebody told me to pay the room. Who did that? I don't know, the director of this thing. Nice. <laughs>